maybe you're the one that will now finally break my heart and make him go become so dangerous. Like. Don't be, that's what I said. Don't fall in love. I'm not falling in love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, if, if, if it's not for you, not for you. Uh, what if you're not for love in this house? Me. Mm -hmm. I feel like me and you will make a very strong power couple. Uh, mm -hmm. It's nice, bro. Ah, you pick up. <laughs> Now, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did you see what happened in the kitchen last night? <laughs> Between the double K couple and Toby from Strees. Did you, did you see that? Guys, that is one hell of a massive triangle that has just been birthed this season. I'm not I'm not talking about your regular triangle, you know, a guy chasing over. Right. Guys, I'm talking about a single young man trying to get in the mix of a married couple in Big Brother's house. <laughs> oh my. Toby was in his element last night. This guy was giving lyrics upon lyrics upon lyrics to Cassia. And Cassia was playing along. Because he was playing a fantastic game. Oh my god! And guys, did you see <laughs> Kelly Ray's face <laughs> when they got into the kitchen? <laughs> what? Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I feel like I'm getting too excited right now. Listen, you totally need to watch the end of this video because there's a lot to spill. <laughs> a lot happened last night. A lot happened last night. And it's getting me super excited because this is fresh. This is different. This is this is new. This is new. And I'm going to be giving you every single juicy detail on this video, all right? So please make sure you watch to the end. And officially, you're all welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, and I am the girl with the tea. And for those of you that are yet to subscribe, please just subscribe all right subscribe make sure you turn on your post notification bell to always receive the last of my videos whenever i upload a new one all right and um yeah for those of you that are newly subscribed you especially welcome to the family now quickly quickly without further ado let's just get right into it now was it not just yesterday i put out a video you know giving you all the details of the inconsistency of the act that the double k couple were trying to sell to their fellow housemates how it was quite precarious you know their situation was quite precarious they were not really sure about how to keep the lies like keep up with the lies they were selling to their fellow housemates you know and how they were kind of struggling and how some of their fellow housemates had actually clocked the game that they are trying to play <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we had all expressed our sentiment. We had expressed our fear. I had expressed my worry, you know, for these people, for this couple, because I wasn't really sure if they would be able to keep up with it all, you know, with that whole act. I wasn't really sure. But then, lo and behold, Cassia got into character. And hey, Jesus Christ. Guys, the last time I watched a female housemate play such a fantastic script was during Big Brother Ninja Shine Your Eye season when Maria had been instructed by Big Brother, you know, to, um, I think, to come and pick people, put them up for nomination for possible eviction, people that were not even nominated in the first place. And Maria had come into the lounge like a drama queen that she was that season. You know, she was crying almost like her face was so contorted, like she was going to start bawling any moment from that time. And it was quite dramatic. We gave her a standing ovation for such a stellar performance. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last time I saw such a fantastic, pretentious performance from a Big Brother Niger female housemate. So just when I had lost hope, thinking that we might never have a replay of such fantastic <laughs> acting skills, <laughs> law <Love> you! <laughs> Cassia steps into the picture. 
to give us excellence. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, what am I saying? Toby was selling dreams to Cassia. Yeah, by selling dreams, I mean, he was actually making his intentions known to her, that he actually likes her. He th truly believes that both of them could become the power couple of the season, that he's really attracted to her. He likes her. And guys, <laughs> listen, I've been watching Toby from Sunday evening, and I must confess, this guy has a bit of an ego. Yeah, you know these men that mm, I know who I am, I'm confident in myself, which is a good thing, by the way. So, you know, I love people that are actually self-aware, but Toby has always sort of presented himself, you know, as this young man that, you know, he's going to take his time, you know, to select his partner in the house. I found it quite interesting, you know, when he made his move on Cassia whilst they were in the kitchen and it was such a beautiful conversation, beautiful, beautiful conversation. And the guy was asking very genuine questions, like he really wanted to get to know her better. And then there was a particular question he asked her, you know, actually two. He asked her, you know, what she likes in a man. And she goes on to list things and list things. That, now, first off, she looked sort of perturbed, like, oh my God, is this really happening? Oh my God, I have to play into this character. But then she took the bull by the horns and she got into character and she started listing things that she actually fancied in a man. And, you know, the more she was listing, the more Toby was feeling like, oh my God, she's actually describing me. I think I fit into the profile of what she wants. And then he asked of her age. She said that she turned 27 three years ago. And then he now went and dropped the ultimate question. Like, okay, sorry, I want to ask. Um, don't you feel uncomfortable or sort of insecure, you know, knowing that at your age, you're not married yet, you know, that kind of thing. You know, the whole societal um, stigma of women who are in their 30s and are not yet married, that kind of thing. And... <laughs> Cassia got into the ultimate character. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cassia started giving this fantastic story about how she, you know, had this ex, how she dated somebody for like two years. You know, guys, the story was so sweet. I mean, it was kind of long, but this woman took her time telling this story and Toby was enjoying the story and the guy was kind of intrigued yes because it was such a fantastic tale <laughs> of oh my god I had somebody and he was not really nice to me so I just told myself hmm and then she was thinking about oh she had suitors and stuff like that guys Cassia was telling this story even me eh, if I did not know that Cassia was actually married <laughs> I would have believed everything Klein and Sinka. But Cassia was in character and she was giving the story, giving the story, giving the story. Later on, they left the kitchen mm? and then they went to the lounge. And it guys, you could tell that Toby was completely convinced that now nah, this girl, she looks innocent, she looks naive, very sweet and petite, you know, and probably his proper spec. And he was just serenading her and she was like <laughs> and then they moved on to the kitchen again and the razzling as they call it here in nigeria you know him still giving her lyrics it continued and then her husband <laughs> kelly ray stepped into the kitchen and she felt kind of relieved that okay he's here now so when the husband stepped into the kitchen she started kind of gently harassing him like oh you didn't even check up on me where were you uh -uh, you didn't even look for me you know all in the guise of yeah my partner my partner why didn't you look for me where have you been and the guy was like i saw you i saw you so i knew you were okay i knew you were in good hands i saw you i saw you you know the guy was trying to act like don't worry girl i'm actually not bothered mm, i see you playing your game and i'm cool but you could tell that his words did not match his body language, even his facial expression, because Kelly Ray looked upset. Mm. <laughs> the guy looked, the guy looked like a kid that was about to get his most priciest doll or most cherished doll or candy, you know, snatched from his hands, and he just could not do anything about it. So this guy looked disturbed. 
This guy looked upset. At some point, seven, I was even wondering, like, hmm, is this guy going to go and punch Toby in the face? <laughs> and Toby did not clock it. Toby did not read the room. Toby thought that, okay, maybe they were just having an innocent conversation between partners in the game, between partners in crime. And then they left the game together. And then Kelly Ray was in the kitchen looking for what was not missing. At some point, I was scared that the guy was going to bring down the kitchen. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Listen, 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 listen. I don't know how this is going to pan out. <laughs> I don't know. But however way this will go, hmm? whichever direction this whole, this triangle is going to go, guys, I'm here for it. I want to see it to the end. Because whilst I was watching these people in action, yeah, quite frankly, I wasn't even thinking about Toby, to be very honest. I wasn't really thinking about him because, hey, should be, you came to the house to play a game. Yeah, whatever. But I had concerns because in that conversation, it looked like Cassia was genuinely enjoying Toby's company. She was relaxed later on, although at the initial start of the conversation, she wasn't particularly relaxed, you know. But later on, she was sort of relaxed. She was enjoying the conversation. And guys... I started getting scared for this one. I said, hmm, Toby is saying the right things to this girl. She's a, she's a girl, after all. <laughs> Before she's a married woman, she's a girl, after all. And us women, we like to hear things, no matter how high our defenses are. We love to hear things, yes. So, this woman should not go out falling in love. Oh, she should not go out falling in love because it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> Nigerians will not give her a break. <laughs> It's going to be a disaster. She should not have fall in love. Or she should keep her head in the game. Because as far as I'm concerned, she's doing great. She is doing great. And then I was also thinking about the husband, you know, Kelly Ray. Guys, we've seen in the past one day and a few hours that this guy is very, very clingy. Very clingy. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I don't think he's even helping matters you know with this they are all act of being besties of five years yes the guy is very clingy obviously you can tell that he actually really likes or loves his wife yes so guys i was just wondering like hmm, will kelly be able to keep up with this act will he be able to stomach all this attention that toby is now showering on cassia will he be able to look away and allow her to play the game yeah and will he, in return, get himself engaged, you know, involved with other females in the house? And if he does, most importantly, will this couple be able to allow each other go with the flow? Will they be able to exercise self-control from getting sexual with any of the opposite genders in the house? Another major question that was ringing in my head was, if at all they don't decide to get into different shapes of their own, how far can they go to give the viewers shipping content that will not go against the, their vows, their wedding vows? Like, what, how extreme can they go? What is the most they can do? Can they kiss other people in the house? Can they peck? Can they hug? Can they cuddle with other partners in the house, you know, all for the sake of the game? Are they ready to take that risk? Are they ready? Ladies and gentlemen, listen, I think I'm going to stop talking here right now because there's actually a lot more I want to share, but I don't know. I think I'm going to have to do another video to spill more about all of this gist. Yes, at the moment, uh, some of the viewers are kind of disgruntled about Oyeka. That is a video you really want to look out for. Yes, I'm going to be doing another video about that. Oh, and of course, um, there were different conversations that happened last night. Not like we do not know about them already. Some of them are kind of repetitive, but there are conspiracies going on in the house already. So I'm going to be making another video of all of these things I just mentioned. But in the meantime, let me know your thoughts about the double K couples strategy. Do you think it's going to work in their favor? Are you excited? Do you want to see how this whole thing pans out in the long run or in the short run like me? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys on another episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah soon. 
Thanks for watching and <laughs> bye.